Hello everybody, welcome back, Cody here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys very easily how to rig pretty much any character on the planet, right? So, in this case, I'm going to be using Spider-Man. I have done this with STL files, when I'm doing 3D printing, I can just get a different pose if I wanted something corrected or something, so this works really well for that. This is a paid add-on, this is Auto Rig Pro, you can get this on Blender Market, I will be putting the link to it in the description of the video. So just make sure you go on Sketchfab or something like that, download a model or something. You can just delete the rig off of it, and we're just going to be starting fresh to show you how to use the add-on. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is obviously install the add-on, and over at the side panel where your add-ons usually show up, we're going to hit ARP, and that's your Auto Rig Pro. So we're going to make sure we have our mesh selected here first. We're going to come down into the Smart button here. Then we're going to hit Get Selected Objects and hit Full Body. You want to make sure that your uh, armature is mirrored on both sides. I find works best, but there is a way to turn off the mirroring in case, say, if your arm is up here or down here. It doesn't have to be like uh, Mixamo where it's just going to auto-generate based on T-Pose. So you can do this in a couple different ways. Just uh, make sure you apply your transformations if you're rescaling or your rest pose if you're going to be doing some animation. So... Another thing you want to make sure you do is your, uh, make sure your character is on its origin point. So when you import it, it's best not to move it until you uh, do this step or it's just annoying to get back there. But you can go into tool and just set everything back to zero. So we're going to get started here rigging this character. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at this button right here. It says add neck. And you're going to notice it's kind of like Mixamo, right? So we're going to add the neck right there. I should have put it probably a little bit lower, but that's okay. I'm going to put the chin right on his chin, obviously. We're going to add the shoulders. We're going to add the wrist. The spine root. And yes, people are trying to always say that you can't uh, move the view around and zoom in and zoom out with the tool still selected. Even if I hit rotate and I zoom, I can still move around in the tool selected and so forth. So I don't understand what people are basically saying about that. But uh, yeah, that, that works perfectly fine for me. But anyway, that is not a Blender 4 feature. But anyway, we're going to go and uh, hit the ankles. And as you see, I can pull up and my tool is still selected on both sides. So it does work. And the next thing we're going to do next is just hit go. So I'm actually just going to turn the fingers off on this. You can do figure thickness, voxel precisions. There's a lot of different settings you can do. Clavicle align just in case your uh, one leg's a little bit more forward than the other. I find that works really well for doing that. You even have face setup, which is really good. So please do uh, get support this developer of this add-on because this is a great add-on. Everybody should have this in their tool library. So let's go ahead and hit go. And you're going to notice that we have a forward kinematic rig already set up. And the fingers do come out really well if you add them just in the sake of this tutorial. I'm not going to do that. But as you see, we do got a really good rig. And if I hold my middle mouse, I can orbit with my tool still selected, mind you. And I can orbit and zoom in. But uh, as you see, looks really good to me. That generated perfectly fine. It's actually a lot better than most people would think. So I'm going to go over into object mode. What we're going to do is come into this skin tab, and we're going to look at this bind fix, okay? So what it says is bind the selected meshes to the rig, select the mesh first, and then the armature, okay? So we're going to select the uh, mesh, and then we're going to hold shift, click the armature, and then what we're going to do is hit bind. You do have head weight options, uh, optimized resolutions and stuff like that. There's so many options here, which also makes this a lot better than Mixamo. Mixamo may be fast, but this is pretty much just as fast if you're rushing, but you have the benefit so many other options, right? So now if we sit here and uh, we move our rig around, you'll notice that he is attached. If I right click, he'll snap back to its original place. The next thing we're gonna do now is all we have to do is press match to rig, and we're just gonna hit okay. As you see, we now have an IK rig on our Spider-Man. And if I hold or just uh, click that box there, press G, and then move the leg, you can see we can bend Spider-Man in any direction we want, which is amazing because, like, usually uh, creating rigs and stuff, especially IK, can be really tedious and annoying sometimes. But still, sometimes there's some issues with the legs and stuff. You can tweak and stuff like that. You can uh, go into edit mode and reposition the bones a little bit better. You can uh, shorten them, uh, make them a little bit thicker. I think it's because the bones are a little bit too thick that's going to be dragging on certain other parts. 
But as you see, if I move the arm, works great. And then if I have the rotate tool selected, I can rotate it like that, zoom in, pull it up. So even what you could do then, so say if his arm is down in your in your animation timeline, let me just put the other arm down. As you see, there's some artifacting happening up there on the shoulders and on the fingers. There is ways to fix all that, but just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm showing you how quick you can get a character rigged, especially if you're using uh, Mixamo animations and you need to jump over into IK really quickly to do a few tweaks. Very simple to do that. But this is usually happening because the bones were uh, bigger than the mesh. So now it's uh, detecting all the origins of the other ones, the radius. But so what we're actually going to do then is just uh, hit our keyframe button. I'm just going to nudge Spider-Man a little bit. And we're going to come up to 10. Don't worry about his hand. It's going to be a little jumbly all over the place. Whoop. And we can go up to 20 and just kind of make it go up a little bit. Just give some better motion. that and once he comes here we can even take his body a little bit right and just kind of move it back take his head even a little bit more of a natural movement back to one just kind of nudge the body back Pretty cool. And we can just take his arm. Let's give Spidey a little cool animation, right? And then what we can do is go like that. And then what I always do is I add one keyframe of the same right here. So once I have that yellow, that means there's two other keyframes. Now once I go right after this, I can instantly just change the uh, origin from this position, right? So now I can just put the arm down. His elbow. Whoop, that's his knee. I find that little elbow pin. I have no idea where it went. Oh, there it is. Always make sure that stays in place. That can get annoying. And then we'll just put his arm like that. Not the best, but it's pretty simple you see and that's pretty much how you use auto rig pro and like everything's attached right so you could make them dance if you wanted to like it's it's really easy to use and then you could make them run you know you could add a path very easily with a curve you could make them run around and stuff like that can just add the keyframes and it's very easy to animate when you're in IKs and stuff like that I used to animate only in FK Oops. you could have like a little running animation of some kind right 
something like that. And then you can do one pose, and then you can go up a couple of frames, add the next pose. And that's pretty much how you do it. And you have other rig definitions here as well, like you have multi-ped. You could add extra limbs, so if you have a tail or ears and stuff like that, you could add that, just jump over into weight painting mode, and that works really well too. You can edit the shapes of all the bones. You have pose tools. You could add a hand or a fist. You can set a pose, you can apply a pose, so you can do it from a pose library. So this add-on has everything, and again, I'll be linking this in the description of the video. I highly recommend you pick this add-on up, because it is a lifesaver, and the developers definitely deserve it. So after, uh, I will be uh, linking some other links into the description of the video as well for another program called AccuRig. So it's another rigging program. We'll go over in another tutorial, but I'll just link it today for you guys to try out. It's another rigging program, kind of like a uh, Mixamo, but it's not very intuitive, right? So I highly recommend you try this instead. But if you guys like today's video, please do like and subscribe. I got plenty more coming in the future. And have yourselves a great day.